Hello, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, here we're going to, uh, I've got a prophetic class, and I'm teaching uh, in the prophetic. We're all at different levels uh, with our gifting in the prophetic. Today is an exercise. Uh, we're going to uh, prophesy over Melania Trump. I feel that uh, she uh, really represents the wind beneath Donald's uh, wings. I feel that she's a real lady and uh, she would be a really staunch supporter of Donald. And, uh, you know, Donald's got a lot of personal strength and a lot of personal drive, but I feel a lot of, uh, a lot of important conversations have happened uh, in their bedroom and, and in, their, in their living room and around the dinner table. And I've, I think Melania is a lot more powerful and responsible for a lot more things than uh, the media or anyone gives a credit for. So uh, we're going to all seek the Lord and uh, deliver a prophetic word to Melania. And if you're watching this and you know someone connected to the White House, uh, you send them on this video. But um, I hope that this will encourage uh, those people of, uh, that live in America and uh, I hope that uh, you can share this with your friends because uh, I'm sure that it'll be encouraging. So we'll start with William, and uh, William, you can uh, share what you've got. Okay, so uh, first thing that I saw and I heard from God was um, that it's a family of great wealth, and I saw Melania actually pouring down priceless gemstones of wisdom uh, to give to her family so they can use their great wealth to bless the world. And I uh, saw so it and I hear the Lord saying that... Try, um, try, and, try and speak right up really loud. Try and shout if you can. Okay. Is this better? Okay. Um, so yeah, just the priceless gemstones from heaven of wisdom that she's going to start to pull down after Donald's gone. And that family is going to bless the world in a great way um, with their wealth and with their influence with that wisdom. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, so we'll go on to Andrea now. Hi, Melania. Um, the Lord Father God says to you, my daughter, um, uh, you have strength like an ox, and yet you are also so delicate and so precious to me. Uh, uh, um, you shine, you sparkle like a jewel, you sparkle like a, um, a diamond and uh, you are a diamond inside of you, You're, you are a diamond and uh, you have great strength, you have great beauty, you have great strength and uh, um, and you are known for your wisdom and it is your wisdom that not many people know about but uh, it is your wisdom that, uh, that uh, guides your husband, it is your wisdom that uh, um, that helps carry him through many things when there's uh, people giving him uh, dissenting opinions and uh, he's not sure which way to take it. It's like you're the clinch pin. You're the one who uh, gives him that, uh, that answer. Um, you're the one who helps steer him down the right path and you have a much greater influence over him than you think. Uh, you uh, have poise and you carry yourself uh, so beautifully. You. Uh, you like to speak uh, uh, words of comfort to your husband when the whole world is against him, or it seems like so many people are against him. Uh, you are like his rock. You are like one who uh, um, stands by him and uh, never wavers. Uh, you're so strong and you're so confident and um, you are a wonderful first lady and uh, you're beautiful from without and within. Thank you so much, Andrea. And uh, we'll move on to Gloria now. God says, you, my daughter, make me proud. I love how you demonstrate love to all that you meet. You carry yourself well as an example of my love for all. Few things upset you, and even those things that do, you are able to handle with grace and confidence. You are a bright, shining star reflecting my love in a dark world. Thank you for serving me day in and day out in all that you do. I enjoy the time that you spend with me privately and especially enjoy your worship. I have placed you in a place of honor, even though the enemies of God fight against all that you and your husband 
try to do. This is a special calling for a tumultuous time in the history of America. Thank you for answering this call and being willing to suffer for the kingdom. Many rewards await you. Please continue to remain strong, knowing that I am with you always, even until the end of the world. I will continue to expand your gifts and give you all that you need to continue this special assignment. My blessings are upon you and your family. The hand of favor is also upon Baron, your husband, as well as the rest of the family. You will be someone that American women will come to admire and respect as truth unfolds. Many blessings and opportunities for service await you in the future as well. Ask and it will be given. Seek and ye shall find. My love enfolds you and goes with you in all that you do. Well, thank you, uh, Gloria. And now uh, we'll move on to Barry. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You have been blessed. You lead from behind, but God is blessing you. Don't look back. Look to me. When you are confused by how they are treating your husband, know that I am in control. I can and will take every word spoken for and against him and use it to build him up. Even when, you're en even, when even your enemies will be seated at the table and they will be confused uh, by the words that they will be lifting your husband up and not putting him down. You lead by example. Your son, Baron, is watching and learning. There is a time when you question if, if he is, but have faith. Look to me, look to me. You have, you have been through so much for being president, but know if I am for you, who can be against you? No one. Why have all the other presidents have failed? Because they did not put me first and you did. You are leading by example to this country and for your husband. Keep putting me first and I will lead your steps and guide your steps. Thank you so much, Barry and Lisa. Um, Melania Trump, you, you are beautiful inside and out. You are God's gift to Donald. You are gentle and honest. You are intelligent and angelic. You are Donald's rock. You are his counselor and his advisor. You are Donald. Donald listens to your steady voice. You will in, become an, an international spokesperson. You will help Europe and America get back together again. And then there's some kind of massive undertaking that she's, she's going to be involved in. As for Baron. Baron will be a blend of his father's bravado and his mother's gentle kindness. I hear that Baron will be a servant of God. He will learn to love the Lord with intensity and genuine love. Wow. And uh, Andrew, uh, you want to uh, uh, give us uh, your take? Yes, yes. Um, I sense that uh, you're a person who is calm and encourager. And more like God's chosen aid for Trump. You're like a buffer and like the unsung hero of the United States of America. I think that this person who has been holding training yourself from public criticism. And I believe that the Lord wants to highlight that you have been placed forth like a person who should like fit in the gap. I also sense that the Lord wants to use your life after the presidency as an aid to the homeless and uh, encourage women without hope in the United States of America that they are empowered. And I feel that the Lord is going to make you more famous after the presidency than before. Yeah, that's what I had. Right, yeah. Thank you, Andrew. And Joshua? <clears throat> you are a brave, courageous woman who supports your husband and is an elegant beauty with a great heart for other people. Your heart is sometimes broken due to the allegations against your family, but know that, but know that God will bring all, all, all accusations against your family to a halt. Thank you, Joshua and Art. Uh, Millennia, I, I see you, and this is, I see you on a white horse. And just like with a big 
sombrero hat with all kinds of Jews all over it, and you're dressed in white, and on your suit is Jews, and your horse is decorated. And I believe these Jews represent the different gifts that God has given you, and you have many Jews. You're many, you're far above rubies. You are a Proverbs 31 woman. And any man, any man would be honored to have you for a wife. And Donald Trump, the president of the United States, he, God sent you to him. And I see you and him, I see you soaring like an eagle. And you're flying. What's, what's neat about you, you always get above the storm. You always rise above the storm. Every situation, you know, where the thunder and lightning and all that, you just rise above it and you soar. And this country needs, uh, behind every good man, there's a good woman. And you are a very good woman. And God, you're, you're special to him. His eye is upon you and it's upon you all the time. And you hear God's voice. And he loves that about you because you listen to him. Even though sometimes you would like to say other things, but you say, no, I'm not going to lower myself to that. I'm not going to throw dirt in that. I'm going to stand for what God is speaking to me. And I believe, too, that you will be known as one of the, 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 the best first ladies this country has ever had. And I see you not as a Miss America, but as a Mrs. America. You, you, you can be very proud of who and what you are and how you carry yourself and how you perceive yourself and how you speak to your husband. Your words, when, when President Trump is down, you can just speak to him and you lift his head up. He loves you very much. And actually, actually, you speak things into him that he speaks. Some of the things that he speaks are direct quotes from you. And God is telling me to tell you that continue to seek God. He has set you upon a white horse. He has come to you and he said, will you ride with me? And you said, yes. And, and, uh, you're in this. I wish you could see what I'm seeing. It's beautiful sombrero. I mean, it's loaded with juice. And, and you're, you got on white pants and, and a white shirt, and, and they're loaded with different rhinestones and jewels and gems and that. And, you, and you're riding, and, and you're riding, and God is right beside you on a horse, too. And you're riding with God, and you listen, and you ride with God, and you hear him. And I see you as a mighty, mighty mother eagle with bear. You no, know, a mother, an eagle will spread her rings and tuck the little chicklings underneath her wings. And that's how you are with Baron. And, and he's going to, Baron is going to grow up to accomplish much in life. And a lot of it has to do with what you and Donald has instilled into him. And he's also going to be a mentor for the young people in this country because he has very high morals and they've been handed down by you and Donald. And uh, God is telling me to tell you anything negative that's spoken to you or over you, to shake the dust from your sandals and just go on because God has a mighty, mighty anointing. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, I uh, am uh, going to give a word to uh, Melania. Um, I hope that uh, people are encouraged with, with this. If if any of you know people uh, that uh, are connected in some way to the White House, I'd encourage you to uh, forward this uh, to her. This, this would be uh, really nice for her to get. Um, I'll just uh, ask the Lord uh, for a, a message also. I, I sense that, uh, that Melania, that um, 
you're, uh, you're like a teacup uh, placed on the table and um, you can sort of see an earthquake or you can see a disturbance uh, as the teacup rattles and as the teacup uh, you know, rattles through the disturbance and then will settle down and uh, stop rattling as the disturbance goes. You like that teacup, you like a barometer of what's going on and you're able to uh, bring your calming influence uh, to Donald and uh, direct Donald. Um, I, I don't feel uh, that uh, I'm in Australia, so I don't hear all the American news, but I, I don't think that the American people really know how powerful you are. And uh, I feel that um, the angels know who you are and uh, Jesus knows who you are and the saints of heaven know who you are. Uh, you know, the word Donald, uh, the meaning of the name Donald means uh, leader of the world. And uh, you were born to be by the sides of the most influential man in the world. And, um, you know, it reminds me of the story of Mary, Jesus' mother, who who is really elevated in, in the Catholic faith and even revered among Protestants. She was the only woman in Israel. Uh, she was the only young girl in Israel that was selected uh, to be the mother of the Messiah, to be the mother of the Son of God. And um, there was only one of them in Israel. There wasn't, there was a lot, the means of uh, girls in Israel, but there was only one Mary. And um, the same is true for you, that there's only one woman in the world that was selected to be the wife of Donald. And... Um, I don't think the world really appreciates uh, how powerful you are and what a position you have. And uh, uh, for the rest of history, uh, what your husband's doing to the landscape of America and what he's going to do over the next six years to accomplish in America, um, there's going to be so much great reward for you. And... Um, you know, uh, people who bring change, people who are forerunners, uh, people who are powerfully important and bring change to the world, often they're not popular. Often uh, people don't like change and they resist it. And uh, uh, the political landscape of Washington, D.C. certainly re weren't ready to change. Either the Democrats or, or the Republicans uh, they've got their entrenched uh, politicians that are in it for their own money and we've got the Illuminati and the people behind the scenes pulling the strings. Your husband was never meant by these power brokers to get in. And um, we owe his bravado and we owe his self-esteem and his endurance to you. You know, the world, uh, the world owes it to you. And, you know, there's the song... Uh, uh, you know, uh, Wind Beneath My Wings that Bette Midler sings. And I, I don't think anyone could epitomise that song more powerfully than you. And, um, you know, Donald's out there in front and he's copping the barrage and he's making plans and he's getting resisted and uh, directed in wrong ways and people are influencing him and, uh, from time to time, he makes a decision that's not the best decision. But you really are behind him. You really are the wind beneath his wings. And um, it's not because you're extraordinarily good looking uh, that you're the leader of the most powerful man in the world. It's not because you are a former model. I, that may be uh, part of the reason that Donald chose you, but Donald's got a really high IQ and he would have picked you for more than your beauty and uh, he, he picked you for the person you are, the heart that you are inside, the person, the strength and determination that you've got. And um, the Lord, you know, Jesus and Father God are 
they're going to really reward you for eternity. Uh, you're going to walk with the, the greats of heaven, the, the Moseses and the Davids and the Abrahams and, and the Apostle Pauls and, and uh, the Apostle Peters and the Mary Magdalene's and the Mary Mother of God, which uh, what the um, Catholics will call her. Um, you're going to walk with the greatest saints in heaven, the, the biggest, most powerful uh, saints that have ever walked, the Mother Teresa's, the Princess Diana's, the Michael Jackson's, although that could be a swear word these days like Donald Trump. Um, and uh, you're going to walk with the greatest of the greats. And uh, you're not only going to hold uh, Donald's hand for the next six years, but you're going to be projected into a life of influence and change and 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 you're going to powerfully lead as a as a as a uh, forerunner as a pioneer you're going to powerfully lead movement you're not just going to release a book like uh michelle obama and have a best-selling book you are the best-selling book your your book that's not gonna wear out you're just gonna age with beauty you're gonna Go on with power and influence. And the world is going to know who you are. The world is going to see you shine. And, uh, you know, and some people think that you're just the pretty wife of Donald. Uh, and I think you've got such humility and such poise that you don't even broadcast what you actually do. Um, you know, you're a really hard worker. You're not only a hard worker, but you're a tremendous mother figure for Ivanka and the other children. Uh, you're a tremendous influence on them. And uh, you're not their natural mother, but they, they take their steps and their marching orders from you and your influence. And, you know, I don't know if Donald Jr. or I don't know if it's Ivanka. But uh, Mark Taylor, a popular prophet, says there's going to be another Trump in the White House. And as that Trump is groomed, as that Trump comes into power in maybe eight to 16 years' time, um, maybe, uh, you know, in a couple of presidencies' time, I think that you're going to have a major influence in who that person is. And I think you're even building and equipping that person, whether it's Donald Jr., or, uh, or Ivanka. Um, the heaven celebrates you. Uh, if you could only just capture how much heaven loves you, if, if you could just get an understanding of, of the very greats of the greats in heaven, know your name. And, uh, you know, surely you're going to go on and uh, create a heritage on earth and then going to be forever celebrated in eternity in, in the courts of heaven, among the very heroes of heaven. Even in Hebrews 11, it mentions greats. And, uh, you know, the Apostle Paul wrote Hebrews and he, he lists all the very greats of the Christian faith and some future Bible, some future recording on the new earth or in the new heaven it's going to have names and it's going to have Donald and Melania Trump written uh, at, at the end of Hebrews 11. You and your husband are going to be mentioned uh, for the history, the, the history of heaven, the history of the Christian faith are going to uh, surround you and uphold you for the work that you're doing and the work that you're going to do to uh, bring uh, the, the evil people in America to justice. And uh, we fully support you with our prayers and we, we hold you up uh, with our prayers and we know that your husband is a tremendous chess player and he's got moves that are strategized and planned for the next six years and he's going to be a major influence in America over the next 20 years and consult with other governments and without him being like an Obama, messing himself with foreign leaders and stuff after his leadership, you're going to just have effect on future presidents. He's going to have effect on future presidents and uh, be a gentleman president and bow out instead of uh, traveling all around the world like Obama. And uh, you're going to be part of that influence and the heritage of America. We love you. Uh, heaven loves you. 
the saints of heaven love you. The true Christians, the true Christians in the world that know who Jesus is, they love you and we're all behind you. And uh, Baron is going to grow up and uh, he's going to be a future leader and uh, he's, uh, he's going to do some powerful things. And uh, like someone else said, he's going to be a combination of the best and worst points of Donald and you. And uh, we don't have to be afraid of our weaknesses, you know. You've got a husband that you could cite off all his weaknesses and yet uh, you, you just come along to a rough diamond and polish him up to be a diamond. And we wouldn't want your husband to be any other way. We, we, we appreciate the brashness and, and, and uh, quick fingers on Twitter and everything he does. We want him to be who he is and you make him the very best person that he can be. And uh, together, heaven and the Christian church celebrate you and love you. And uh, we wish you all the best uh, for the rest of the presidency and uh, your future life as you go on and support people and become a real champion of women and children and even men. Uh, you know, you could even write a book on how to, how to influence power or how to be the mother of someone great. Um, I'm a firm, firm believer, Matthew, I'm a firm believer that uh, if you want a prince or a king, you should just marry a man and help him become one. And uh, you become that, you were born for this destiny. And uh, you're the only woman in the world that was worthy. And uh, I give a shout out to the former wives of Donald. And uh, if you hear this, uh, just know that you're loved by us too. And you're not neglected. And you former wives played an integral role in Donald's life. And uh, you're celebrated in heaven too. And I hope uh, the whole Trump family and extended families and the children and everyone uh, will walk into heaven and be celebrated as a royal family. I never was ever interested in politics until Jesus told me your husband was going to be president. And I've been uh, really uh, overtaken and uh, not much has heard about you, uh, but everything you do, every prayer you say, every time you speak, every thing you do is recorded in heaven and there's great reward for you. And Donald may even get a surprise when you get to heaven that you may even be shining brighter than him. And uh, he may be surprised where it really all counts, not in what people are saying, but uh, the rewards in heaven is where it all counts. And I think that uh, Donald would be in serious competition with you uh, on how, how brightly you're going to be shining in heaven. So with that, we pray uh, that uh, everything that uh, has been spoken will be fulfilled and I hope that uh, you can be assured that uh, the world loves you. God bless.